I think as men that we generally, one of the challenges we've got is to be able to open up and talk about things a lot more than what we do and that's probably one of the first hurdles to get over. I'm John Longmire, coach of the Sydney Swans, and through my experience, I can honestly say that it's better out than in. When I started playing at North Melbourne when I was 16, and I was straight off the farm, I really probably didn't understand what mental health was. I mean, I was trying to just get by and play AFL football, and we didn't talk about it, we didn't think about players' emotions. And, and what they were going through from a mental health perspective, it just it wasn't on our radar. Now, looking back on it, I certainly have a greater appreciation and a much better understanding of, of how players and how people uh, and why they behave the way they do. When Paul Roos first took over here, I'll never forget the first thing he said, oh, I'm not gonna treat you all the same. I'm gonna treat you all fairly, but I'll treat you as individuals and that was something that certainly stood out in my mind and still stands out in my mind today. You can't really put people into certain boxes and, and this is how they'll behave and look out for this or look out for that. It's all different and generally there is a lot of underlying things there that, that lead to those behaviours and, and we try and channel that in and try and get into that. Now I can be talking to a player about football the whole time and not working out why he's not getting the message but it's got nothing to do with football. And so that's how I coach them differently. If I find out that a player needs some help, well, let's stop talking about football for a second. Let's just address what's actually happening and, and get that right first and foremost. Firstly, you've got to create the environment that people in your organisation feel comfortable talking about it and aren't going to be accused of or looked at differently. And one of the first things you've got to break down as a coach to a player is don't worry about it. we're not seeing it as you using it as an excuse, which they tend to worry about. It's not an excuse, it's a reason. And let's, let's look at the reasons first. And you've also got to understand as a, as a leader of an organisation that it's not going to be you that's going to solve all the problems. And it's not going to be you that actually the people come and talk to directly all the time. But understand that it might be a teammate that they talk to, it might be a staff member that they talk to, it might be the psych that they talk to, who cares who it is, as long as the person is really suffering or really finding things a challenge, as long as they talk to someone. It can be anybody in your organisation. If they talk to someone and help that person steer them into a, a level of assistance that's available that everyone knows about, that's a great start. There is no question that we put so much time and effort into our physical capabilities. We need to put more time and effort into our, into our mental health.